what's going on people troops tv back again obviously it's the second to last game of the season midweek football you get me leicester away um yeah you know how we've been on the road isn't it it's been peak fam no point in 2018 away from home no wins no points nothing blood in the league um we did all right in the Europa League until we got obviously knocked out by Atletico last week away from home. But in the league, we have been shocking in 2018. Like, we've been shocking in the league the whole season, fam. We've only got three wins away from home all season. The rest are all defeats. And we've had 17 defeats this season. And it's been a it's been a sad season, you understand? We have to be real. It's been a sad season. But we go to Leicester today and... Maybe we're playing Leicester at the right time because Leicester are on a kind of bad run of form. They got smacked up a few weeks back 5-0 by Palace, you understand? But I'm not too sure if this is their last home game. I'm not too sure if their next home game is actual home game, their final game of the season. But if it is their final home game, then boy, it might get peak for the mandem again, isn't it? Because... Away from home, we've been shocking. At home, we've been great, you understand? We've only lost three times at home. You get me? All season, we've only lost three games at home. But away from home, it's been mad, fam. Like, you imagine every team in the Premier League actually has a point away from home apart from us. Like, it's madness, blood. Like, West Brom have got a point. I've got points away from home. I've got wins away from home. You understand? They beat United, blood. Like, it's mad, fam. You get me? But... It's an away day. I do love an away day. Um, we ain't lost at Leicester for a while. That's the thing as well. Like obviously last season we drew nil nil. Season before we smacked them up. Um, Dog Shagger got a hat trick. You get me? Uh, yeah. So tonight, I don't know, man. Depending on who plays. Obviously, when I said Ozil probably won't play until the rest of the season. So Keon was right in what he said um, after the Atletico Madrid game. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Still got this fucking cough, blood. It's all peak, fam. So, lineup wise, I'd probably go with check and go. Um, defense, you know what? Yeah, I'd keep the defense that started against. Uh, who do we play on the fucking weekend, blood? Burnley, sorry, Burnley. So, I'd go with Bellerin, uh, Mavroponis, Chambers, and Kalazanak. I think all I think the whole back four had a great game. Uh, Bellerin got two assists. Bellerin had a great game as well. You understand much better than the Atletico game. Uh, Chambers is looking actual. Chambers is actually looking kind of good at centre back. I can't lie, fam. He's actually looking pretty decent at centre back. Mavropoulos again, like you understand, this kid's got so much going for him. You get me? He's got a bright future. Hopefully, we get in the right manager and he kicks him on. You get me? Because this guy, he looks so composed on the ball. He's strong. He's quick. And he's just what we've we've needed, you understand? When the ball comes like when the ball's coming into the box, he's the man that attacks the ball, you understand? A lot of these defenders just fucking stand there and watch the ball black. Like, just ball watching. My man's actually willing to go and put his head on it. And obviously Kalazanak got a goal as well and he he looked back to his old self, I mean, I stand I've been asking where he is and literally he comes back again and gets a goal blood. Like, so that's the defence I'd go with. The midfield, uh I'd go with the same midfield as well, blood, like, you understand? I'd go with Xhaka. And I'd go with Wilshire, you understand? I think they both had great games as well. I think Wilshire, the way his, his assist fam, you understand? That was just Jacket, his best blood. Dropped the shoulder, spun the Burnley man, ran into the space, played a great ball to Kalaza, blood clot knack, and then he tucked it away. So I'd go with them two as the midfield pairing. Then the three, I'd, I'd, I'd keep the same three fam, you understand? I'd go with the same three blood. I'd go with on the right, a Wobi. Uh, no, sorry, on the right, Mikha Ross, Clark Tarion, uh, Awobi in the number 10 role. Awobi had a great game as well. Big boy goal. That was big 1-7, you get me? That wasn't no big ham roll. That was big 1-7. And I buy my blood Clark Young on the left-hand side, you get me? Because obviously he can play on the left, cutting on his right, do the whole own reading. And then up top, you get me? Like our blood Clark Zet, my brother. Goal and an assist. Obviously, Aubameyang got two. Lacazette got a goal and an assist. So, yeah, man. That's what I'd go for. Um... I don't know, man. It's going to be a difficult game, but you know what? I think this is the day where we get our first points away from home, you get me? And I think we're going to get a win, fam. I think we're going to beat Leicester. I think we're playing them at the right time. They're on a bad run of form. And yeah, man, you get me? This could be the final nail in Claude Puel's coffin, but 
You don't already know. If you ain't subscribed to Tube TV, make sure you subscribe. I'm out.